Two years ago, um, I began to search for software to see how the light bounces um, from uh, reflectors for solar cooking. And um, I wasn't looking for anything special. Um, I started to tread on the solar cooking um, discussion forum on, um, when was it? Uh, 25th of August 2008. And um, basically what I was trying to do was get uh, a, para a parabolic dish or something similar which would accept sunlight for two, three or four hours and um, um, shine it onto a cooking vessel. I thought this is what people need so why has nobody designed one? Because uh, uh, solar cooking designs, let's see, I'm just clicking on a different thing, this isn't the one, sorry. So there's the discussion and the discussion is still still open I guess. Anyway here's plans. So there's basically three different types of solar cookers in the plans. There's panel cookers, there's box cookers and there's parabolics. And uh, here's one of the things need to be realigned to the sun every 45 minutes well sometimes uh, depending on the parabolic it could be every 15 minutes or 30 minutes and um, but they're much uh, much faster it says here cooks as fast as a conventional electric burner and I thought um, if you're solar cooking with this fast cooker um, say you're doing a stew or something like that you don't need to be out there it's just stupid to be out there in the sun in 30 degree or 35 degree heat moving this thing around so why not design one that uh, has a, a fuzzy focus where we know the sun is going to move and we know how far it's going to move in an hour it's going to move 15 degrees and um, if we set up uh, an axis for it or uh, a stand for it correctly uh, you can uh, very accurately set up your dish so it's beyond reason that nobody has bothered to design one of these that will have uh, a two hour cooking time without moving it or a three hour cooking time so um, anyway um, I set out to design one um, that will have uh, that type of cooking time and um, I have it here let's see where is it so here's my first attempt now I put this uh, I designed this and um, it, it's been my best solar cooker ever and I made it uh, I guess in September and I ran out of light at the end of September and had to quit um, um, using it and I, p I put it um, I think I put it here or, or maybe the webmaster put it on solarcooking.org but no one has ever um, no one apart from me has checked it out and it's up there for almost a year now and that's the problem when you think about it if you have to um, study a, um, a solar cooker if you have to test it against others basically you're going to need about four solar cookers you're going to need four thermo thermometers and you're going to need maybe four or five hours of sunny hot day and um, a technician's time to carry out the tests so it's going to cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to do uh, a test so obviously there's it's um, not going to be very cost effective to test out every brand new idea that everyone gets uh, first thing and find out oh crapola it doesn't work that good so um, the better thing to do in my opinion is to find software that where you can model uh, how the reflections go from the Sun over the course of two or three hours and compare dishes and um, and troughs and and box cookers with reflectors too and uh, anyway let's see 
So I'm just clicking on another window here. Now here's my YouTube channel. So I have a thing here, four dishes compared and conclusions. And that's probably the only video that attempts to compare different types of uh, parabolic and other dishes that's on the web at the moment. And I have another thing, uh, Kyoto Trough Solar Cooker. I made a model of this, but um, work got too busy and I, could, I, I did maybe two tests. So this has been on the web for three months and same again, no, uh, no one else has ever tested out the idea. So there's a great uh, problem of feedback and um, um, basically fear of new in design process in solar cooking. And um, I think um, that's why we need the software. People can test out new ideas with software uh, before they actually build them. And reflector design, like there's a guy in in Sweden who designed the Kyoto trough solar cooker thingy is, um, I'll click on another link. This is something that I just uh, thought up, I don't know, three or four months ago. But it's kind of based on an idea from a guy in, in Sweden who combined two two troughs to uh, make point focus with um, um, instead of a dish um, a, par a parabolic dish to make points focus about 30 or over 30 years ago he thought up uh, that you could just combine two troughs to do the same thing and troughs are much much easier to make than dishes anyway um, so th I'm think I hope I'm explaining the need for software it's basically people do not try new stuff. Um, we as a species are scared of new or something like that and it's a top-down process uh, of design like very very few people actually are willing to make a mistake and um, uh, so, n so nobody tries and um, solar cooking is very much better solar cooking is very much needed in the world like you can hardly expect some lady in Africa to uh, be running out adjusting a um, parabolic dish um, say three three or four times an hour in really really hot heat when when she's just uh, say stewing um, stewing up some food um, let's make the dish that it focuses the light on that big stew pot for for two or three hours. So she only has to run out once every two hours instead of uh, four times an hour. Anyway, that's it for the little speech. Bye.